now is 613 and this week all Metro Nashville schools once again went virtual. The return to online learning comes as COVID cases spike across the country and Rebecca now concerns about students missing classes are growing too. News Channel 5's Eric Kilt has more on the problem and what school administrators hope will help students stay in class. Inside Ashley Cross Inglewood Elementary School office, things it is very weird are unusually quiet. You know, right now is lunchtime and I can hear the lunchroom from my office, but it's 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 quiet. This week, as COVID-19 numbers spiked, Metro Nashville Public Schools returned to fully virtual classes. And now concerns about student attendance are returning as well. This school year, nearly 22,000 students have been absent from classes at least five times. Nearly 5,000 have been absent more than 20 times. The numbers include about 1,500 students who were expected to enroll this year but are still unaccounted for. Um, that number is concerning to us. MNPS's Carrie Randolph says those concerns are partly why the district launched a new Navigator program. We are, as far as I know, the largest school district in the country to launch something like this. The program pairs students with a teacher or staff member and they have weekly check ins to make sure the child's needs are being met and that they're logging on to their classes. Navigators have played an important role in both engaging students and also helping identify those students who aren't engaging. At Inglewood Elementary, and I was really excited about it. Navigators like art teacher Gianna Schaefer check in with their assigned students every week. And I ask them, so what's what's uh, preventing you from getting to class? What can we help you with so that way I can make sure you're there? And administrators say those conversations have made a difference. I'm anecdotally seeing a huge increase in student attendance in their virtual classes. An attendance increase they hope will continue even as classes move online once again. In Nashville, Eric Hilt, News Channel 5.